You're listening to an archived Cabral Concept podcast. After listening to this show, check out the most up-to-date podcasts available at stephencabral.com slash podcasts or search directly on iTunes. And now, welcome to the Cabral Concept, where board-certified naturopath and integrative health practitioner Dr. Stephen Cabral shares how he was diagnosed at the age of 17 with a life-altering illness and given no hope for recovery. It was only after studying and traveling all over the world did he discover how to combine ancient Ayurvedic healing practices with state-of-the-art naturopathic and functional medicine to fully rebalance the body and re-energize it with life. It's time to discover how to get well, lose weight, and finally feel alive again. And now, here's your host, Dr. Stephen Cabral. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to the Cabral Concept. Today, on a training Thursday, I just got finished actually working with some of my body transformation clients, some great workouts this morning, and now what I want to do is actually give some of the advice I've given them over the years and share that with you. So one of the things that we always talk about and you know, when people want say, I want better results. I've been working out for years, but I'm not getting the results that I want. What can I do? Well, there's kind of like this old adage that goes around the health and fitness industry when people say, what's the best workout I can do to get in shape? And you know, the, the joke is the best workout for you is the one that you're not doing right now. And so what that means is this, is that although we don't want to switch things up too much, I've just seen too many people in gyms and in health clubs and doing whatever on their own just do the same exercises that they've been used to for years and years and years. They basically rotate a dozen exercises that they really like and the problem with that is that the body's already adapted to them. You've maxed out your potential of what you're going to get from those exercises. The only way to get more would be to either increase your reps or increase your weight or decrease your time between sets. So let me repeat that again. There are other ways, but the real, the main ways we're going to get the most benefit are either adding more reps to that set that you just did, adding more weight to that set that you just did, or taking less time between sets, which is called escalating density training or escalating density principles. And so essentially what you're doing is you're creating a stronger stimulus in the body. That's really what it's all about, right? So if you want your body to change from where you are today, to that next level, whatever that is you have in mind for your body, whether it's weight loss, adding more lean muscle, more tone, more definition, more whatever you want, you need to create a new stimulus in order for your body to break down a little bit and then rebuild stronger, rebuild better, burn more body fat. And that essentially is what I've gone back to. It will never change. It is this adaptation principle, meaning like you've done something to your body that it thinks it needs to change far so it gets stronger, it gets leaner, it gets more defined, it gets whatever it is that it needs to do to get your body to be able to do that thing again. I mean, that's really it. That's a survival mechanism and our bodies are really good at that. And that's how I help teach people that I say, I don't want you when you're first starting out with a program with myself or anyone else to just go like, crazy five six days a week doing the hardest workouts possible that makes absolutely no sense and that's why i don't believe in boot camps for the most part now a lot of personal trainers can do great boot camps but the problem is this there's two problems to it one is that you don't need that much stimulus in the beginning you actually want to do as little as possible in the beginning that's the truth you want to do two sets instead of three sets or two sets instead of four sets in the beginning because you want to save that for when you plateau great you plateau okay now i add that third set now i go up in weight now i do whatever it is that's how you break past plateaus because if you start at 100 percent or you start at your max well where do you go from there i mean there is no other way except changing those exercises which is what you should be doing every four weeks six weeks really maximum you want to change your exercise program sometimes that's changing exercises for the most part it's changing exercises and sometimes it's just changing your rep scheme higher reps or lower reps whatever it might be or changing your rest uh, periods so you know when we talk about the other part that i don't like about boot camps they always call it muscle confusion or some personal trainers again i love this industry i think a lot of personal trainers are absolutely fantastic but the problem is and a lot of people's workouts as well, is that you're always changing your workout, right? So you're changing every single time and you shouldn't be doing that either. There's this thing called, you know, muscle confusion. And that was me doing air quotes right there. So muscle confusion, people like to throw the term around. You actually want your body to adapt, right? We just talked about it. You need your body to adapt to a stimulus. And it can't adapt if it's always doing all these different things because that is confusing. Yes, you will burn calories. Yes, you might even burn a little bit more calories because your nervous system has a harder time adapting, telling your muscles what to do. 
that and again, again, that is good for body transformation and good for overall workouts. No, no doubt about it. But if you really want the best body transformation program possible, what you can do is a program for about four weeks or until you plateau, and then after you plateau, change the exercises or potentially just change your reps. Uh, or you're go, again, you can't go any heavier, right? Because that's called maxing out the program. So that is my big recommendation for you today. Yes, there's muscle confusion, but muscle confusion can take place after four weeks, after you've already adapted. That's the big thing. That's what I'm talking about right now. And the other thing is for the general population, for pretty much everyone out there, you've been doing the same thing or the same group of exercises and just kind of rotating them out for too long and your body's just become already assimilated and adapted to that exercise. You've maxed it out. You're not going to get any more from what you're doing right now. It's time to change things up. Thank you for tuning in today to Cabral Concept. I'll be back real soon with more Training Thursday advice. Did you know that the body really only becomes sick or unbalanced in only two ways? Over time, you become deficient in vital nutrients and you also accumulate toxins internally and from the environment. As those nutrients diminish and you increase your total toxic load, your body then begins to show the first signs of dis-ease. It's actually quite predictable, and the good news is that if we know how you began to fill up that proverbial rain barrel, we also know how to empty it to begin the healing process. I was fortunate enough to learn this ancient healing process from my mentor after suffering from debilitating diseases for close to a decade. It was only when I began to implement these techniques did I finally overcome my illnesses and go on to live a life of energy and vitality that I now enjoy. I'd like to share with you now what I discovered after traveling all over the world and how to combine the best of ancient healing wisdom with state-of-the-art science. Allow me to teach you exactly how I've been able to help over a quarter of a million people to empty their rain barrel and begin to transform their body and lives into what they've always hoped they could be. To get your copy of the international bestseller, The Rain Barrel Effect, simply go to stephencabral.com forward slash rain barrel.